apparently I talk too much and people with short attention spans find that quite difficult. So I've time stamped the video down below. So today's video is a tool review, I guess you'd call it. I really don't do too many reviews like this. Uh, if you've been following me on Facebook or Instagram, you'd know that I've been doing a lot of large scale diorama building um, using XPS foam as my base and for you know, bits and pieces within it. Um, I have had difficulty cutting up this foam. I usually use a like a, a large utility knife, um, what we call a, a Stanley knife here in Australia. And yeah, you know, it, it does a good job, but for fine cuts, it really doesn't do as good a job as I would like. I mean, it's good at hacking, but not good at precise scalpel light cuts. So I came across this on YouTube. I've been looking at a foam cutting table for a while now, but really couldn't justify the price of them. You know, here in Australia they, they start at about $160 and go up to you know $250, $300 for essentially what's just a you know a, a hot wire <laughs> cutter uh, on a table. And I came across as I said, these these small little tables. It's you know it's a 15 by 20 I think uh, footprint, uh, operated by four batteries in the bottom. And it does a really neat little job of the fine precise cuts. So I'd still love to get a big table to do the big cuts, um, but you know I, I just can't justify that cost at the moment. So you know. Maybe in the future. Uh, storage is also a, you know, a, a problem as well. So uh, a couple of videos to show you the assembly because obviously it's a CNC laser cut um, style of kit for want of a better thing. Uh, plus then me using it and then at the end I'll just give you some you know my opinions and feedback on it.
Okay, so I've used it obviously a few times on my dioramas. Um, I guess the pros is it, it is a tiny, tiny footprint. Um, really amazing little piece of gear actually when you when you look at it. Um, it, it is a bit rickety, so you know if if I was to um, you know when I when I break the wire, basically I'd probably consider getting a a larger gauge wire, though I'd have to um, go to a like a calculator, make sure I don't sort of put too much battery power through the wire and end up causing a fire. Um, so it's it's quite sturdy. It doesn't have a guide on it, which is something again I would like to add to it. Um, I just have to, I guess, get some wood and, and do that and you know work out how to you know, get those really nice flat cuts, which which we all love. Um, so yeah, if you're into foam cutting and you don't want to be using a handheld cutter, because obviously if you're using a handheld cutter, you lose a hand and sort of lose that degree of steadiness. And as you saw in the video, I could get cuts down to about a millimeter thick, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, so I'll... So, so if you're interested in, in, in foam cutting and want to kind of move to the next level away from the generic hand cutters, um, maybe give this a consideration and a try. I said I, I got this locally in Australia. Uh, I can't remember the price, I think it was about 13 bucks. But again, the picture will correct me. Um, could have gotten it cheaper from overseas. Uh, you know, it's under under about seven or eight dollars. I think I saw them uh, coming out of China, but I just didn't want to wait for it. So to find a local supplier that was selling them for like under 20 dollars was, was pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, so hopefully. Yeah, it's of interest to some people. If you're into foam cutting, you want to start doing really fine stuff for, for um, walls and floors and stuff like that. Could be could be a new go-to tool. Thanks for watching.